We've just arrived here at the Pobiti Kamani. Um, it's called the Stone Forest, and it says one of the great wonders of Bulgaria. So we've uh, we've pulled off on the side of the road. It doesn't cost anything. Um, it's about an 800 meter walk, and uh, we're going to go and check it on out. We've got high hopes, and uh, I'm very excited. We've been driving for ages, so we we really need to get out and do a bit of a walk. But uh, yeah. Anyway, Pobati, uh, Pobiti Kamani. We'll go and check it out, see what it looks like. Well, there's some rocks. It's, uh, it's not quite a forest that we can see here at this stage. Oh, well, <laughs> kind of almost looks like uh, trees have been lopped off and that sort of thing, doesn't it? But uh, I wouldn't yet call it one of the greatest things to see here in Bulgaria. But that said, we still have a few hundred meters to go up the road here, so it, uh, with any luck, we'll get better. Oh, this is a little bit more like it. It's getting cooler by the second. Look at these. They almost look like trees, don't they? Trees that once were, supposedly, 50 million year old forest. And it's all petrified. Don't know if it actually is wood or not, but it's very cool. You know, I've got to admit, when we started out uh, wandering along here, I thought to myself, mm, one of the greatest one wonders of, uh, of Bulgaria. Um, Bulgaria may not have very much to offer. <laughs> um, you can see the just the, the rocks and that behind me, the sand and everything like that. So I kind of thought, oh, it's a little bit lame, but it's good because we needed a walk and everything like that. But when we when we actually got up to the uh, to the well, the stone forest itself, it is very very cool. I'll uh, I'll just wander up this way just a little bit here, and then I'll uh, flip the camera around and show you what we can see because it is very very cool. There you go. Look, the columns of the old that have been turned to stone, so they say. And you know what, they very well could be. They actually look awesome. I'm going to wander down through the, uh, through the forest here a little bit further and continue checking them out. does look like the base of a tree. So we've nearly reached the end and I just climbed a hill on the side of the park here and I didn't notice from the ground but look it's kind of like a stone circle over there. That's quite interesting. And then you've got all the uh, the forest of petrified wood there. So very cool. Just to give you some perspective, Jen's 164 centimeters. More than two times 
Her heart. Good morning. Foxy is over there. Uh, it's clearing in some parts and it's raining right here where we are, which is really frustrating because it was all clear as we drove up. And then as we got to the top of the hill here, it started raining. We're in the town of Schumann, where we stayed last night. And we've come up to the very top of the hill or the mountain that's behind the city. And uh, we've come to a particular monument here called the Founders of the Bulgarian State. Uh, you can't see it from here, uh, but it's down this path, just, just over here. Oh, the kitty cat. Anyway, we're going to go on in, have a look, and uh, put up with the rain. I really wanted to fly my drone, but uh, not while the rain is happening. So anyway, we're heading up this direction here. It'd be nice to a few of them. And uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's ice that's falling. And rain, so I guess sleet. Oh, Jen and her clouder. A clouder of cats. <laughs> oh, look at that. Somebody likes you. See, we always said somebody likes you. So we're getting closer to this monument. It doesn't look like much from this direction, but from the other direction, it's pretty amazing. So opened in 1981, this is the largest Soviet statue in the world, or Soviet monument, the largest concrete monument and heaviest uh, anywhere in the world as well. And uh, it depicts, well, it was, it was built to reference the 1300 years of the Bulgarian state. And uh, there are statues and mosaics in here depicting the ancient kings going back to around the 500s and the builders of the, uh, uh, the Bulgarian state. I don't know much about the individual ones at all, um, so I probably won't talk you through it or anything. Um, but I will just uh, show you them on the video here. That's good. Very blocky type of uh, art. You've got one of the first ancient kings here with his sword in the ground there in front of him and his horse. <laughs> a dude with a horse. Big and blocky and ready to pop out and change at any moment.
as you can see, it's quite monstrous. In terms of a monument, on the very front of it there uh, is a lion. platform up the hill just a little bit. There's a little Jen down there. Gives you an idea of the size of her in regards to the size of the monument. There you can just see the, the lion a little bit more on the side. Out over here is the city of Schumann. the surrounding countryside. In order to get here to the uh, the monument of the Bulgarian state, there are 1,300 steps that lead up from the city below. 1,300 steps commemorating the 1,300 years of the Bulgarian state for when this was uh, originally planned and built. Uh, 1981 I think that was from memory um, we were lazy there is a road that drive that you can drive up <laughs> so we skipped the 1300 steps because 1300 up and 1300 back is 2600 and we decided that we didn't really need to to do that sort of exercise first thing this morning in fact we probably did need to do that exercise but we chose not to so we drove on up and uh, yeah, made it here to the founders of the Bulgarian state. We're just driving along and we happen to stop well see this and stop look at it it looks like the Flintstones it's so very cool yeah it looks like bones holding up the uh, holding up the roof there and boulders and everything like that how cool is this place it even says up on the top there bar bedrock <laughs> that's awesome there you go bar bedrock check out the inside there's a dinosaur there or a couple of dinosaurs and it all looks like bedrock on the inside here <laughs> it's very cool all right well we better head back out to foxy and keep on our way